So sometimes I'll get asked, how come I have yellow or red errors in my timeline? Well, it usually comes down to one thing. So let me show you what that is and how you can go about fixing it. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can sometimes get warnings or errors in your timeline and what usually causes it. Uh, so in this example here, I'm starting with a case component. I'm going to go ahead and just create a new component called gasket and I'm going to project the um, go ahead and create a sketch on that top face and let's project some geometry from this bottom case and use that geometry to just create a small gasket let's just say like 0 0.01 inches in thickness I'll go ahead and change the appearance of this let's just do um, I'm just gonna do a, a paint just to make it a different color so you guys can see it just a little bit easier in here um, okay and then I'm gonna create another component called lid real quick once again creating a sketch on the top of that and again projecting geometry from this time from that gasket and using that geometry to create the lid. So let's just say point, let's just say 0.25 in height, and we'll just round over the edge really quick, 0.125. Okay, and let me go ahead and change the appearance of the lid just so it looks slightly different. I'll make that a blue. If I activate the top level, we can see that we have the blue lid, the green gasket, and kind of this um, gray case and there's nothing wrong with my timeline right now what typically happens what, what typically creates the errors in the timeline is when you delete geometry so for example i might down the road you know i might say you know what i actually don't want this gasket in my design so i'm going to just right click on gasket and say delete and you'll notice i get this warning message you know, the following features are referenced by downstream dependent features. Do you want to permanently delete these features that reference them? I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And you will now notice I have a warning in my timeline. And it has to do with a sketch. And the reason for that is because I deleted that gasket component. And this blue lid we projected the geometry to create this model. We projected the geometry from that gasket. So here is the lid sketch, and here is the lid extrude, right? So what this is basically saying, in fact, if I right click on it, I can review the warning, and you'll notice it gives me the sketch plane is lost, so a sketch cache is being used. And then it says, please redefine this sketch to select the other plane. And then I also get failed to get target occurrence and a project. So the project source is lost, cached is used. So you can kind of see by deleting that part, by deleting that gasket, that's what caused the problem. Now I'm gonna undo and the gasket's back. We don't have any problems. We can see the green gasket there. So instead of deleting components or bodies, what I recommend is if I right mouse click, instead of using delete, use remove. And you'll notice that it's no longer in my browser. It's no longer in my viewport. We removed it out of our design, but I do not have an error message in here anymore. In fact, I even have a new feature in the timeline, which is we removed that gasket instance but it didn't delete the references. So kind of get used to not using delete. Honestly, the only time I really use delete is when I'm deleting features. Like for example, let's just say we had a hole in here and I wanted to get rid of that hole. Let's pretend that this wasn't here in the timeline and I wanted to get rid of that hole. I could select it and say delete and it would get rid of that. That's kind of the only time I use the delete command. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and delete the gasket, even though I said don't do that. I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. And sure enough, I get a warning, but I was gonna show you what you can do if you have like some of these errors or warnings. If I right mouse click, you can see it says review warning, but then you'll also notice up here, it says manage lost projections and then also redefine sketch plane. So I'm gonna start with, let's manage the lost projection. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And you can see it's kind of highlighted a lot of these projections kind of in this yellow orange. And right here I have this warning. If I click on that, it highlights the projections and then it gives me some options. So I could relink, I could break the link, or I could just delete that projected geometry. So if I say relink, I can come in here and just click on that geometry to basically project off of the case bottom instead of the gasket. And you'll notice it went from a warning to a checkbox. I'll go ahead and say, okay, I'll finish my sketch. Let me click on this guy here, right click. And you'll notice that that one option went away of redefining the projection but now I have redefined sketch plane. So I'm gonna go ahead and say redefine sketch plane and let's specify that face there. I'll say okay. And now I've told it that I want the sketch plane to be on the top of the case bottom. And you'll notice that that warning message has gone away. So we basically got rid of the gasket. We reprojected using this geometry instead of the gasket geometry. And then we redefined the sketch to be off of this face instead of the gasket face, which was about 0.1 above this face. So we were able to get rid of that warning. Let me show you another example. This is kind of an embarrassing example. This is a model I did a long, long, long time ago when I was first learning Fusion, I was kind of challenging myself like, okay, let me design something complicated I'm using Fusion, let's see how I do. And this was before I understood the difference between bodies and components. In fact, you'll notice all of these are components, but I actually created them as bodies and then converted them to components, which I don't recommend. You'll notice that all of my sketches, I have a whole bunch of them are all at the same level instead of being in individual components, etc. In fact, this got so convoluted, I never even finished this design. Things just didn't work correctly. I started getting errors. In fact, if I scrub through my timeline, you'll notice some warnings, some errors in my timeline. As I'm scrolling through, you'll see quite a few warnings and errors in here. So, and your timeline might look something like this. So how do you go about fixing this? Or should I even go about fixing this? Well, so when they're yellow, they're warnings. They're basically saying things. So for example, I'm gonna say review warning and you'll see a lot of, this is a sketch and there's a lot of projections and notice it says the project or project source is lost cache is being used. So once again, this kind of points to what the projection was created from got deleted. And you can kind of see it's kind of highlighted. Looks like it was like a little nut shape or something like that. Same thing with all of these projections. All of these, the projection source is lost. So it's basically saying, hey, this sketch, you know, you projected something, you use that uh, to create this sketch, but it's not bad. It's just telling you it's kind of a warning, right? When it's red, like so, I'm going to review the warning. This is usually bad, right? The tool body is lost. So what was used for this combine, the tool body is gone. So once again, it's kind of pointing to something got deleted instead of removed. Once again, this was before I understood the difference between delete and remove. And so the tool body is lost. So this combine actually failed. It didn't even work, right? Compute failed. All tool bodies are lost. Try editing this feature to reselect the tool bodies. So that's why this one's red.
So honestly, I could actually come in here and probably delete this combine and it wouldn't affect my design. So I'm going to skip that for now. In fact, I'm going to, here's another trick because my timeline is so lengthy, I don't want it to have to recalculate the whole thing. So I'm going to come over here and right click and say, roll the timeline marker to here. Okay. And now we're just dealing with the design up to these first few errors. And it's not going to have to recalculate all of my timeline. And this, you'll see what I mean here in just a second. So let's go ahead and uh, manage the lost projections. So we can kind of see, in fact, I might, I'm gonna flip it over to the other side just so we can kind of see a little bit better. We can see all of the projections, they're kind of highlighted yellow, uh, individual faces that were used. And once again, we could either relink, we could break the link, or we could even delete the geometry. So I might come in here and say, break the link. I don't. I want to keep the geometry, but I don't want to link it to the original model. And you can see how that turned green. So I'm just going to come in here and keep the geometry, the, the projections, but I'm just going to break them away from that projection. And so we can see those all turned green. And remember, we're editing this sketch right here. So watch what happens when I say finish sketch. You'll notice that that sketch is no longer a, you know, highlighted yellow as a warning. However, the extrude is, so let's come in here and review the warning. The model is using cache geometry to solve. You know, please re um, reselect the reference geometry. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this feature. So we can kind of see nine profiles are selected. I'm gonna go ahead and clear that. And let's turn on our sketches. And I'm just going to go ahead, in fact, I might just draw a selection window and unselect the regions that I don't want. And then extrude it up to that level there, say OK. And we can see that we cleared that error message there, or that warning that I should say. So that's how you can kind of go about fixing those different things. I'll do a couple more here. Same thing with this combine. I might come in here and just say um, delete and see if it affects anything. And honestly, it doesn't look like it did. Um, I didn't get any warnings after that saying, you know, tool bodies are missing or whatever. So I'm just going to go ahead and let's just kind of scrub through until we get to another one of these warnings. So I'm just going to drag this over here like so, and then we can see another part that I was working on. Let's review the warning. Again, the projection source is lost, cache is being used. Let's manage those lost projections. It looks like it's an edge somewhere in here. And I will just select that, um, and then just relink. And you can kind of see it's highlighting this this one curved edge in red. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reselect that edge and it turned you know, the, the warning into a green checkbox. I'll say okay and finish my sketch. And that warning has gone away. So you typically are able to fix some of these issues. Now I'm gonna continue on here. I'm gonna skip over that sketch because I know there's a couple joint issues in here that I want to get to. So let me just kind of scrub along real quick and just show you some, some of the other stuff. Yeah, so here's a joint issue. Let's go ahead and fix that. So let's go ahead and review the warning. And it says the model is using cached geometry to solve. Please reselect reference geometry. And then it just basically says, you know, the compute failed, missing joint origin two using cached position. So Again, it kind of seems like, you know, it was it was pointing to something that might have gotten deleted. So I'm going to edit this joint. And we can see in the dialog, the component one, it has one selected, but component two, it says missing reference. And so here's something that I do, like this was created years and years and years ago. I don't remember what I was doing back then. So I'm gonna click on this one selected up here and I can see, oh, okay. So that's probably this gray part here and I referenced that edge. 
So I'm guessing, again, this is a guess, that component two is, it's probably a revolute to this outer case right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this reference here and select that edge. I'll say okay. And we now have recreated that joint. I don't have that warning message anymore. And this gimbal works as expected. So you can kind of figure out what's going on with some of these issues. Same thing with like, let's go ahead and take a look at this move really quick. Review the warning. So the body reference is lost and this feature is using cache geometry. You know, the compute failed. So, you know, I could come in here and edit the feature. So basically it looks like, you know, I was trying to move all of the objects and rotate them around a particular axis, 6.6 .6 degrees. So you can kind of see how everything is rotating. I'll go ahead and type in 6.6. .6. I'll say, okay. And that basically regenerated that move. So it was able to recalculate that move. And you can kind of see the reason I did that is it kind of follows this curved surface. So sometimes just regenerating or recreating the number or the feature or whatever sometimes solves the problem. Hopefully this helps you with some of your designs. In fact, you might, if you have any that you uh, remember that might have some warnings or errors in there, you might go back and take a look, review the warning, uh, review the error and see what it says and then try doing the redefining the sketch or redefining the sketch plane. Um, you saw how you could break the link or you could relink or you could even delete the link um, if you needed to. So give those a try and see what you think. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe to be notified of upcoming videos. If you need help learning Fusion, visit my webpage at cadedllc.com. And as always, have fun learning Fusion.